Hey, what's going on, Guardians? Today I've replaced Shatter Dive in its entirety using a couple of exotics I didn't expect to work as well as they did. This build is fantastic for clearing out adds like an ignition, but with your choice on timing. Without further ado, let's get started. The exotics you're going to need to use are Frosties and Cerberus Plus One. I know they don't look like they go together just yet, but they will here soon. I also love how we're using a stasis build with a fittingly frosty exotic. For weapons, I'd suggest anything with Adrenaline Junkie since we're shattering crystals, or whatever special weapon you work best with. I personally like using Forbearance because of the extra explosions, but you can totally get away with using your special for DPS. Before our mods, we'll be running triple firepower with elemental shards and an elemental charge. Pretty easy this time around. Though do try and run the Stasis Grenade mod Kickstart. This will short shorten down our cooldowns even more. I'd also add ashes to assets for the insane amount of grenade kills we'll be getting to affect our super. Time for our aspects. We'll be using Grim Harvest to get stasis crystals off of any enemy affected by stasis. This includes being frozen or slowed. We'll also be using Touch of Winter with Glacier Grenades to give us that extra crystal to explode and turn our area of explosions into a circle instead of a flat wall. For our fragments, we're running Whisper of Fissures and Rending, a classic combo for stasis explosions. Fissures make our crystals explode significantly bigger and deal more damage, and Rending allows our Cerberus Plus One to deal more damage and detonate said crystals. Next, we'll be using Whisper of Shards and Torment for our grenade. Shards make shattering a crystal boost our recharge rate of our grenade, and Torment gives us extra energy upon taking damage. I currently use Whisper of Conduction to have my stasis shards track me, but you can replace this with whatever you like. For example, you can use Whisper of Impetus to reload your Cerberus if you don't want to reload for the whole combo, or Whisper of Rhyme if you want some extra overshield. For the flow, you first need to get a stasis shard off of your melee. Then you would throw a grenade at the enemy and begin shooting said crystal. Then you would pick up the Grim Harvest Shard, run around them for a bit with Frosties until your grenade is recharged. After that, you can chain the grenade back to the combo to your heart's content. The ability regeneration of Frosties with Whisper of Shards, Whispers of Torment, as well as Grim Harvest Shards that now count as wells, thank you Elemental Shards, will make your grenade come back really quickly. This build is mostly just fun to play with and has really quick flow to it. Keep with the rhythm and use your favorite weapons on top of it for a quick and customizable build. But that'll do it for today. I'm working with my clan to make a roulette wheel challenge raid video here soon. Although our first attempt of it in a dungeon didn't end too well. I gotta be not fucking! <laughs> <laughs> that was the best trick I've ever seen. I'll make a separate video, maybe like a minute long, so you can see how bad it went. But I'm planning on making this kind of video a monthly sort of thing, so keep a lookout for that. With nothing left to say, I'll catch you all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel moving forward, and I hope you all have all a wonderful day. Adios!